I'm happy, man. We're both in the best space that we could possibly be in. Like a year after, you know, we spoke. You know what I mean? A lot has changed, but for the better. We get it with our own two. Man, we get it how we live. New mixtape we dropped actually this past Tuesday um, called The Recession Proof. It's actually our first uh, CD as an artist in three or four years. Underground, mixtape, whatever his first should we put out, and it did actually very well, it actually sold out. Originally we were, the Recession Proof was gonna be a, a downloadable CD, uh, you know, yeah. through our Twitter, through our MySpace, actually link up with a couple sites and give them access to do it and just give it to the fans. That's all we wanted was people to hear the music. But then the, the, the <laughs> distribution company came and heard about this project that we were gonna work on. They were like, hey, why, why don't we put it in the store? You might as well put it in the stores. I'm telling y'all, you know, it's gonna do, people are waiting for some, you know, anything with y'all's name on it, especially in Texas alone. So he's like, all right, cool, well, you know, let's just press up a little, you know, 5,000 copies and see what happens. And then, boom, you know, it did what it did. So, I mean, that's great for us. And it got a real good response on all the forums, you know. I mean, everybody's gonna have their opinions about, you know, us behind the mic, which is fine, because, you know, that's a whole different ball game. I don't but, think nobody likes seeing the, the producers, you know what I'm saying, do the, do the, doing the rap thing. And we actually had a record deal on the artist side before the producer thing, so it, to me it's more, it's more surprising that people actually just don't even know. So people are more like stunned, like, oh, oh this is y'all first time uh, I'm around. Like, oh, y'all rappers? I just like, oh, so this is the first mixtape, like, all week long, like, it's been a couple people, like, on some. And that's understandable, because we've been out here. Of course, you know, the, the artist thing hasn't quite grown all the way out here. I mean, in our region, is you know, you got to yeah, see it for yourself, yeah. you know? And that happens to a lot of people down there, just in general, before it actually explodes. And unless, until we get a nationwide hit, and we get the whole TV access and all that, people are not going to know, you know? but. Um, I mean, definitely there's been some hate, you know, and it is what it is, man, they hate on everybody. And this is a very tough business. Not everybody's made out for this. That's just the reality, and especially when you get to a certain level, because you get, you have to, to be a, a hit artist, it's not just music, there's so much more. The way you walk, the way you do interviews, the way, you know, you brand yourself, is so much more to be a hit artist, and it's like, I don't think any of those guys were quite ready. Tum Tum, on the other hand, you know, he's had his share of success on his own as well, but, you know, he's stuck in his ways on what he wants to do as well. So, I mean, that's the big homie. We still rock with him, we still rap. But, you know, right now, it's all about the playing skills for the moment, you know? We got Nelly's new album coming out. We gave him a, a, a crazy record with Akon. Uh, actually, I think two is on there. Two records on there. Uh, Bum B's album is. We also working on, uh, on, on uh, developing a reality show with some thug, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And that's gonna be There's a twist to that that's crazy. Real. It's called Thug Love. Every other week, I, and even the radio play nowadays, like now they're really supporting the Dallas artists. So it's like, it's crazy. And we're gearing up for All Star Weekend. You know, you got to. We got the there. Super Bowl, then we got yeah, Final Four. Yeah, so we're going there.